What's up guys, in this video we're going to show you a guy who's literally 5'2 getting a date from Cold Approach. You're going to see everything from the opener to the texting and ultimately him hanging out with a girl on the date. Alright, so if you guys are not familiar with who this is, his name is Andy and he was in one of our videos where we showed a compilation of going up and getting girls phone numbers. And the biggest thing you guys said in the comments like, hey, I know he can get girls numbers, but can he actually get a date? We want to make sure he can get a date with this girl. So in this video we did just that. So let's start off with the approach. So he's walking up to a girl on the street who's actually taller than him. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry to interrupt your, your very fast walk, but I saw you coming, I mean, coming this way and I'm like, that girl's adorable, I have to say hi. Now, one thing he does well is he goes in from the side. You never want to go from a girl's back, right? Because then a girl might get startled. If a girl gets startled, then it's not a good situation. So always either going from the side or the front. Thank you. What's your name? I'm, I'm actually late. You're late. So it's uh, nice to meet you. Oh, I have to go that way. I'll talk to you for five seconds and then I'll sure. I'll dip. I promise I won't I will not follow. He just okay, he does this relatively well too. So the girl's like, oh, I gotta go. And guys might think like, oh my god, she's shit testing him. But some girl, times girls in a rush. So what he does, like, oh cool, I'm going this way too. So making it seem it's not like he's following her. And then he also gives her false time constraint. I'm only gonna go for five seconds. I might word that differently. I might be like, oh cool, I'm going over there until this place so I can walk with you for two minutes. You know, something like that. But the end goal is basically the same. Where are you from? Not from here. Not from here? From where? From. I'm from Cuba. I was born in Cuba, which is why I have an accent. Uh, what? Where? Let's go to bed. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Nice, nice. Uh, from Atlanta. From Atlanta. Nice. And what are you late to? The restaurant, dinner? Yeah. You look like you're you're ready to have that's a ceviche outfit. I'm hungry. I yeah, me too. I've been fucking. I've been. I have a couple of friends around the area, oh, so really? I've been. Yeah, I go up one building. I visit them. I go to another friend, and now I'm, really? I'm gonna. Now he's definitely able to hold the conversation really well. I think better than 95 percent of people. The one criticism I would say he's talking a little fast. I prefer to slow things down a little bit more and talk in a more seductive kind of deliberate type of way. But other than that, I think he's doing a good job. Bouncing around brick wall. Yes, I'm like, I'm like their little whore or something. I don't know. Are <laughs> you a little whore? Uh, yes, I am. I'm a little man whore, but I try to keep it so on yeah, the low. You own it. Let's not. This is good. He's making the conversation like light and flirty. He's like saying, yeah, I'm a little man whore, right? It's good to fuck around as long as it's not a lighthearted, funny way. Spread it. Let's not spread the word. You know, don't tell my secret. I don't well, know you. When, I, when are you leaving? Um, no, I, I live here now. Oh, you I'm live from here. Atlanta. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, let's get some drinks one time. Sure. Yeah, let me get your number sure. real quick. Okay, so for the close, he does this well, right? So you don't want to be like, let me get your number out of the blue, right? You want to first soft close the girl. Hey, we should meet up for a drink sometime soon. Hey, we should get together sometime in the future. Once the girl says yes, then you go for the number. Now, you could also even try setting up a date on the spot. I know a lot of people are advocates for that. I personally just soft close and get the number and handle logistics over text, but there's pros and cons to doing both. Before you... What, do you, what else you, do you do? Do you, are you a man whore for I do a little bit of everything. No, I, unfortunately not. If I could make money being a man whore, that would be amazing. Uh, what's your name? I do a little bit, I'm a photographer actually. Oh, no way, I'm a photographer. This is good. This is maybe subtle, so some of you guys may not pick up on this. But basically, you know, he's fucking around and the girl asks him a serious question. She's like, so what do you do, right? And if you keep fucking around, you're like, oh, you know, I'm a male stripper or something like that. Then the girl will be like, okay, something sketchy about this guy because he doesn't want to tell me. So what you want to do is balance humor with actually having a conversation with the girl. You don't want to just be being sarcastic and trolling 100% of the time. You want it to be like 50, 60% and the other 40, 50% you're being authentic and real. Too. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Nine. No, for real? Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I work for the heat. For the heat? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you take pictures of, of big tall dudes out across the street? Now. Okay. Um, so you take pictures of, of, of like the Miami heat? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Another thing I want to point out, it's like the common mistake guys make is they get girls phone number and they're like, okay, see you later. They run away, right? It's good to hang out with a girl at least like 10, 20, 30, a minute after the you get her phone number. So it doesn't seem like your whole goal is just to get her number, right? So at the very least, maybe I won't walk with her, but at least talk to her for like another 20, 30 seconds before parting ways. I uh, I do portraits mainly. Yeah, I love portraits. That's like my favorite. Thing. Yeah, right now I've been I've been trying to look for like people to do like Halloween related stuff since it's October. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, how long have you been doing that for? For like four years now, and you? Okay. Um, yeah, I've been doing it for seven. So. Seven years? Okay, wow. And yeah, you just want gotta one up me. It's everything. I'm no, just kidding. I'm just kidding. It takes time. I'm hustling. And, and Again, this part is crucial. Now they're actually getting to know each other. You don't want the conversation to be just superficial, haha, and jokes, right? You want to have some of that to catch the girl's attention, but then you also want to have a deeper type of conversation where the girl actually feels like she knows who you are. It's seven years of work. That's good. I mean, bro, taking pictures of the Miami Heat is fucking is yeah. is amazing, you know.
So, uh, yeah, well, I have to go that way, but it was a pleasure meeting you. So, I will text you. Hey, placer es mío, Andy. Andy, and you're. Yeah. I'll see you later. I'll text Bye. you. Okay, so a few things here. So the one mistake he made, and this is very, very small, but he's like, oh, I got to go that way versus earlier he told he was walking over this way. I would say like, oh, actually, I got to cross the street or something like that, right? Now, he does the right move by not walking with her for too long. At this point, he's got her number. He's built comfort. There's no sense in walking with her further and further. And that's going to get weird. Also, another thing he does, which is very subtle, but I want to point out, is that he keeps that handshake going for like 10 seconds. Look at this. Shaking her hand, shaking her hand, shaking her hand. But he puts his other hand on there, right? So something as small as a handshake can actually be the intimate and sexual, right? If you do it the right way. So I'll always do that too. If the situation calls for it, I'll, I'll hold the handshake maybe for 10, 15 seconds. Typically, I try to give the girl a hug and a kiss on the cheek, right? Obviously, you don't want to go for a make out right away. Uh, but again, some situations like, you know, the girl's walking, it'd be kind of weird to give her a hug. So he does the right thing here and then bam, he parts ways. And just look how much taller this girl is than him. Like she's got a full head on him, right? And she seems pretty interested. Now, let's take a look at his texting. So how he sets up the date after getting the girl's phone number. Now, I want to be fully honest. This is not the same girl you saw in the video because the girl who this conversation belongs to, we lost the footage. I know, it fucking sucks, right? But I do remember what it was, and I tried to pick an interaction where it's cold approach where things are very similar. And you're gonna see a video of them at the end, like him actually hanging out with the girl who this conversation belongs to. But again, it was very, very similar. It was just a different girl, basically. I guess they had an inside joke about her having groceries. So he says, I hope those groceries made it home safe. She's like, the ice cream made it to the freezer in time. Uh, I'll be able to sleep tonight knowing blanks, ice cream is safe, the guilt was killing me. Well, my friends and I did the one chip challenge, so we got pretty quick. Now, this is good. You wouldn't use callback references, callback humor. This conversation seems very lighthearted and flirty. I have to ask, what is the one chip challenge? Are you talking about spicy chip? Yep. Haha, <laughs> were you able to do it? Four of us split one chip, but it wasn't that bad, really overhyped. If you split it, you're cheating well, although I heard some kids died after eating one of those. By the way, there are two places I want to check out this weekend, and there's this cute Jersey girl I want to know more about. She should come with me to at least one of them, or you free Friday or Saturday night. Again, very good, very flirty, very lighthearted. The one thing mistake he makes is I would first soft close, uh, so I would just say she should come with me to at least one of them, and that's it, right? Wait for her to say yes, and then you go, cool, are you free Friday or Saturday night? So you don't want to combine those two in one text. I work as a club promoter on weekend nights. Oh, damn, that's right. What night are you free? Maybe I'm free too. I'm free most weeknights. Sounds good. How about Monday night? She doesn't respond. He waits a few days, right? And you will have to do that very often. He follows up with don't think too hard now, which is a good takeaway that I always recommend. Ah, uh, shit, sorry. I totally thought I answered this. I should be free on Monday. Don't sweat it. And cool, how is Monday night 930 sound? I can pick you up if you want. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the picking a girl up thing. I think a lot of girls are going to be sketched out to give a guy the, you know, the address that they haven't been to. So I never offered to pick girls up. But, you know, it's, I know some people do that. And it's okay as long as you don't push for it. I start work at 8 a.m. on weekends, so 9.30 would be pretty late to start for me. How about 7.30 p.m.? I work early the next day. We'll have you back home early so you can do your skincare routine before bed. Okay, pretty funny. Uh, 7.30 works. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to go on mini adventure Monday. Just don't kidnap me and we'll be fine. I don't like that last sentence. I... It's, I feel like it's creating doubt when none exists. Obviously, it's said as a joke, but I would just say, okay, perfect then. That's it. Like, there's no need to add the just don't kidnap me and we'll be fine. But yeah, I'm kind of nitpicking, you know, in terms of like things that, you know, he should do. Have you picked an outfit for today? So this is a confirmation. I'm just impressed I was able to get myself to Starbucks today. To be honest, I've come hungover from the weekend. Since today is a little holiday, everyone treated you stare like a Saturday and we went to a boat. Ha ha. Today's a holiday. Nobody told me. Hold on. I'm walking out of my job right now. <laughs> Pretty good. It's funny. Sounds like it was fun though. Are you too tired to go out today? You don't have to drink alcohol. Ha, maybe some juice or something. Um, again, like I personally would just send that first text it's really funny and just wait for her to respond but it's totally fine again i'm nitpicking right now i should be fine I'm not too hungover haha -ha. sounds good then where do i pick you up at i can just meet you wherever we end up deciding go so remember what i said earlier a lot of girls will not feel comfortable with giving you their address right away all right have you ever been to better days by brickle i actually know that bar it's like a dive bar yep i've been there a few times okay then not that one well i want to take you somewhere you haven't been to yet have you been here and he gives a different uh different type of place now listen personally if a girl's been there i would still take her there like i don't really give a shit taking her to a new place i just go to the place that's closest to my house where i know the music isn't too loud right now i have a conversation with her actually better days is not the best bar for that because their music is really loud so i think the second place that he picked is a lot better i haven't been before but it looks like it's closed today according to apple maps definitely check to make sure the place you're recommending the girl to is actually open because a lot of girls will not be as diligent in her and like actually double check some girls would just literally show up there and it's closed and it's like oh sorry uh damn okay have you ever been here empire lounge and pizzeria i know it says pizzeria but it's more of a lounge than a pizza place google maps says the place is closed on mondays now okay he's just dude you gotta check make sure the place is open ha ah, wow okay 
this one is open. I check Joel Billiards, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to play pool. The drinks and the food there are really good. I haven't been to that one, but it seems kind of far away. Can we do something closer to Brickle? Okay, so it's a little become pain in the ass. Yeah, sure. Have you ever been to Dom's? That's a new one for me. There we go. Well, I'll see you there at 730. Works for me. And bam. So you can see, you know, there's a little bit back and forth, right? Because he didn't double check that the place was open uh, before sending her. But yeah, they ultimately set up the date. He says, perfect. See you then. Traffic wasn't so bad. So I'm here early, but take your time. DM, the one person in Miami who actually is on time or early for stuff, uh, that is so true. Every single person in Miami is always late, which is why on once in a blue moon, when I get someone who shows up on time, I'm like, damn, well, I'm talking 20 minutes late because I thought you were going to be 40 minutes late. I try to be hot, but this is a rare occurrence. I guess the holiday affected traffic and I got here way faster than I thought. So don't worry, no rush. I'm on my way. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Sounds good. I may be a bit lost. I just got home. You're probably sleeping. Thanks for coming out with me tonight. It was fun. Last night was fun. And here's a video of them actually on the date with the girl who this conversation belongs to. Super cute. And you can see that I think this girl is actually hotter than the previous girl. At least she's more my type. She seems more like kind of, I don't know, she has like a cuter face. I think the body's a little bit better. But bam, there you have it from the beginning to the end. All right, hopefully you guys found this video very motivational. I wanna be clear. I'm not saying that Andy has the same success rate as a guy who's six feet tall. Obviously it's harder if you're on the shorter side, but he's able to compensate for that by number one, being charming and charismatic, going up and talking to a lot of girls, you know, not giving a fuck. Also learning how to dance, learning photography and things like that, which give him a competitive Edge in the very competitive dating marketplace. Anyway, if you guys actually want to learn more about Andy, he has an amazing photography business where he charges basically nothing for a photo shoot. And you can check out some of his work on his Instagram. Link is going to be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.